This is ABC 7 News at 5. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Our top story in just about an hour from now, Sarasota City Commissioners will discuss whether or not to increase fees for developers building in Sarasota. The money from those fees would go to transportation projects, everything from roads to sidewalks to bike lanes. ABC 7's Kate Flexter is joining us now live from Sarasota with whether people in the community feel that this would be a good move. Kate. Good evening, guys. Some say increasing that fee is crucial. Others say it could drive up property prices in downtown Sarasota. How crucial do you think these impact fees are? This is hugely important, Kate. I mean, this is a chance to make growth pay its own way after long last. Dan Lobeck of Control Growth Now is one of many concerned Sarasota citizens who say developers need to pay a higher multimodal fee. That's money that would go to improving everything from roads to sidewalks to bike lanes. The developers can afford it. The developers, as long as they have a market, will build. They just need to pay their fair share. In 2014, city commissioners deeply discounted those fees as a way to jumpstart growth following the economic downturn. A decision Lobeck says has cost the city in the long run. By lowballing impact fees on developers over the last three years, the city has lost millions and millions of dollars. Now, city commissioners are considering increasing that multimodal fee to catch up with the enormous growth in downtown Sarasota. But TJ Nutter of Nutter Custom Homes says an increase in those fees could deter developers from choosing Sarasota for a project. In 2014, when they cut them back, all they did was reset the scale to where they should have been anyways. He says the home buyer would actually foot the bill for an increased impact fee. Anti-growth folks will tell you, they'll tell you that the builder pays the cost of the impact fee. That's simply not true. The end user pays the cost of the impact fee. As the city of Sarasota works to provide enough affordable housing, Nutter says adding impact fees may only intensify the problem. It's actually diametrically opposed. You can't increase impact fees and decrease the cost of construction. The, you, you can't do both. As for the total fee, it would vary depending upon the project. Sarasota County already has a similar fee in place. Reporting live in downtown Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Kate. And separate from those fees, an increase for impact fees in Sarasota County will take effect on April 1st. Last year, county commissioners approved the increase to the highest level allowed. Developers will have to start paying an average fee of $1,600 for building a new home. Those funds will help pay for schools, libraries, parks, fire, EMS, and other improvements within the county. Downtown Bradenton is also bustling with lots of construction changes and traffic. One big project in the works now, a new nine-story hotel that will soon be built near City Hall. A Spring Hill Suites will go up on 12th Street West with 130 rooms, a pool, restaurant, and tiki lounge. As part of the negotiations, the city agreed to provide 100 parking spaces for the hotel. Now city officials are looking at adding a parking garage in the southwest corner of the parking lot of City Hall. Today, five contractors gave presentations on their proposals. I need parking downtown anyway because our downtown is so alive. We have more and more people down there. So we're trying to decide how big this parking garage ought to be and make sure it serves the community now and in the future. On Thursday, Bradenton City leaders will hear presentations from architectural firms of their plans for the parking garage. City Council will stay, uh, have the final sign off on a proposal for that garage. An Inglewood couple is facing child neglect and drug charges after allegedly passing out in a car with a toddler in the back seat. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies were called to the intersection of River Road and Tamiami Trail in Northport early Saturday morning. When they arrived, they found a car in the middle of the road and Matthew McCree and Christina Messiano inside. Deputies say the car was still running and a two-year-old child was in the back seat. Deputies searched the car and found heroin and marijuana plus drug paraphernalia. The couple was arrested and the child is now in the care of relatives. 
And a Venice mother is behind bars after deputies say she fell asleep inside her car with her child in the back seat. Deputies were called to the Wawa gas station on Executive Drive in Venice late Saturday night. They say Catherine Miller was seen sleeping in her car at a gas pump and she left her child in the car while she went inside the store. Drugs were found inside her vehicle. Miller is charged with child neglect and possession of marijuana. An update now on the trial of a Bradenton mother facing charges in the death of her four-year-old son. Jury selection began today for Diana Marr. Marr is facing aggravated manslaughter charges for the death of her son, Alexander. A four-year-old was found dead in her home two years ago. An autopsy showed he suffered traumatic injuries to his head and torso. Marr's boyfriend, Trevor Carterell, was also home at the time. He was found guilty of culpable negligence in the case. If convicted, Marr faces up to 30 years in prison. You may have noticed skies around the Sun Coast a little smokier than normal. For the past couple of weeks, brush fires have been burning in multiple neighboring counties, including Pasco, Polk County, and Highlands. No current fires are burning in our area. The Sarasota County Health Department has not issued an air quality warning. However, due to the smell, they're suggesting if you have breathing problems to limit your activity outside and check with your doctor. We did learn on Twitter that Sarasota County says there are some prescribed burns, but no wildfires burning. No wildfires in right. the area. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, and well, those can create plenty of smoke they for can. sure. Right. Bob Harrigan keeping track for this uh, on this for us as well, Bob. Well, a controlled burn uh, right there at Long Bar where the development is taking place right now. You can see it quite clearly on this uh, graphic. This is where there was a lot of smoke around earlier today as they're clearing some land there for that development. And there are uh, several other controlled burns across Sarasota of Manatee counties. We'll show you those a little later. Uh, but the main smoke that I do believe is coming from Charlotte County. There's a rather uh, intense plume that you can see here on the radar picture. It, it picks it up uh, and again carries it off toward the northwest. And now with that sea breeze in, it's kind of clearing it out a little bit near the coast, but it had been making it all the way toward the coast with an east to southeast wind. There's also an old fire that was burning into near Mayaka City that is also causing some smoke to be around. But all this uh, smoke is going to be going away here as a result of some uh, heavy rainfall that will be moving on in, it looks like, before long. And that will happen uh, mainly tomorrow morning. As far as the forecast goes, we are looking for the possibility of some heavier showers, too, as we move through time. There's the area of low pressure right there. Uh, it continues to sink to the southeast. It will be in position right near our coast uh, to start things off. On Wednesday, as I mentioned, some moderate to heavy rainfall can be anticipated and with possibility of up to one to two inches of rainfall uh, before it's all said and done. Right now, we have some high clouds around sun appearing through 73 degrees. Well, much more in the forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now with news of records and more records on Wall Street as the big rally continues, Richard. Scott, you're exactly right, and the three-day weekend didn't seem to slow anything down either. We have now seen the Dow Jones Industrial Average close at a record high for eight consecutive trading days, and this number is really impressive. Every index we follow has been up by more than 10% since Election Day on the 8th of November. That's a big number in a short period of time. Today, the Dow was up by 130 points at the high. It was certainly up all day long and the buying simply continues. Let's take a look at the numbers and they look pretty darn good. That's a record close, 20,743 20, even, up almost 119.6 6 tenths of 1%, that on volume of 742 million shares. Certainly a record for the NASDAQ, up 27 points, almost one half of 1%, closing at 5,865.95, that on volume of 1,802 million shares. And of course, the S&P joined the party as well, Record close, 23.65.38, up 14 points, six-tenths of 1%. Well, Scott Dennis has been shopping. The reason I say that is his favorite retailer is setting records again. Home Depot today announced quarterly earnings that were way ahead of Wall Street estimates. Same-store sales were up by more than 4%. The company announced a 29% increase in its dividend. That is substantial. In addition to that, they're buying back $15 billion worth of their own stock. When companies buy back their own stock, two things are happening. Number one, they're reducing the number of shares outstanding. And number two, they're putting some of their money to work in what they believe is a terrific investment, that their own stock, and in this case, Home Depot. If things would stop breaking at my house, I wouldn't have to go there so <laughs> right, often. Right, right. And sometimes you might have to swing by Walmart as well. Yeah. We have some news on Walmart, Richard. Exactly. Uh, just as good as Home Depot, their shares were up 3% today. They're starting to try and make some inroads on Amazon, if you can believe that, and rather successfully. So, again, they had a very strong quarter and the stock up 3%. 
a very good day. Great news. All right, Richard, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, bomb threats against Jewish centers across the country. Security changes the Jewish Federation of Sarasota Manatee is now taking to make sure centers here are safe. And ABC 7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your full weather forecast. Plus, just how effective is this season's flu shot against the most prevalent strain? That's in HealthSmart. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. Luxury for less at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. We are going to build a great society where no man or woman was a victim of fear or poverty or hatred, where every man and woman has a chance for fulfillment and prosperity and hope. As the only certified surgeon of excellence in metabolic and bariatric surgery in the area, Dr. Joseph Chepley has performed more than 1,300 successful bariatric surgeries. Join us on ABC7 News from 5 to 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, February 23rd. Dr. Joseph Chepley and his talented staff will be taking your phone calls as we discuss what makes someone a good candidate for surgery and the different options available to patients in our area. Thursday, February 23rd. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Hurry in to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota for big savings on some of America's best vehicles. Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Get all the safety and security of a new Dodge Journey for as little as $16,599. Or stop by today and drive away in a 2017 Jeep Patriot for just $15,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. A series of bomb threats across the U.S. is fueling fears at Jewish community centers. No bombs have been found, but the FBI is investigating dozens of threatening calls. ABC's Janae Norman breaks down the uptick in acts of anti-Semitism. A terrifying trend, increasing acts of anti-Semitism, swastika graffiti and bomb threats called into Jewish community centers from Wisconsin to Texas, New York to New Mexico. It's part of life right now as we see it. The calls coming in four waves, 11 Jewish community centers targeted with bomb threats Monday, more than 60 in all since the beginning of the year. I'm not going to avoid going to the Jewish community center because I'm not going to be frightened. The president faced swift backlash over the White House Holocaust Remembrance Statement, which made no mention of the six million Jewish victims. And last week, he was pressed on the issue of increasing acts of anti-Semitism around the country. Well, we are concerned about and what we haven't really uh, heard being addressed is an uptick in anti-Semitism and how the government is planning to take care of it. Okay, sit down. I, I understand the rest of your question. So here's the story, folks. Uh, number one, I am the least anti-Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life. But not directly addressing the issue until today. The anti-Semitic threats targeting our Jewish community and community centers 
are horrible and are painful and a very sad reminder of the work that still must be done to root out hate and prejudice and evil. The Anne Frank Center tweeted that the president's acknowledgement of anti-Semitism is too little, too late, and not enough. Meanwhile, the FBI is investigating. Janae Norman, ABC News, New York. The threats being made to Jewish centers around the country are also causing concern here on the Sun Coast. The Jewish Federation of Sarasota Manatee says it is taking precautions as well as getting the word out to local synagogues. The group recently met with Homeland Security and teamed up with a security expert to beef up security at their locations. For safety reasons, staff members were unable to go into the details about those precautions, but they stress that they are on top of the situation. It's, it's a frightening issue. Um, yeah, we're aware of it and we have to be a lot more cognizant of it and be, um, be much more defensive than we've been and be much more offensive with talking against it and about it. In addition to beefing up security at the Jewish Federation of Sarasota Manatee, says it has formed a coalition with other groups in the area. Emergency officials are urging people near Sacramento, California to evacuate because of rising floodwaters. Voluntary evacuations are in place for people near Dry Creek and Rio Linda. Many people have been lining their homes with sandbags to keep the water out. People across the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys are dealing with rising waterway levels this week. Authorities are telling people living along the Tuolumne River to take necessary precautions to protect their land and animals. We need some on. rain, right? They yeah. don't. They yeah. want it to stop. We it's hope been going we get on some. There for oh, a long time, for terrible. several months, you know, periods yeah. of showers, heavy rainfall where they don't normally get it. Normally, you get that on an El Nino situation mm -hmm. in California, but it hasn't been that. It's been a weak, very weak La Nina uh, situation there. But for us, we are going to see some heavy rainfall here. There's no doubt. It looks like morning, mainly in early afternoon. And then we may see a little bit of a dry slot move in as far as that goes. Bentway's a webcam showing a lot of clouds around today in advance of that storm system and a lot of smoke, as we talked about earlier. There are some controlled burns that have been rather significant, especially the one near Long Bar this morning uh, for the uh, development there going on and uh, land clearing activity uh, taking place there. And you can, again, uh, get some smoke now. And again, the air quality index from Sarasota County is in the moderate range, just barely at 52, the main Pollutant is particulate, which it usually is ozone this time of year, but particulate matter as a result of the fires in the atmosphere. Well, lots of uh, heavy rainfall now into the panhandle of Florida, and that's a direct result of an area of low pressure, which continues to work in our direction. All the models are in fairly good agreement that this is going to eventually settle here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico beginning tomorrow morning and continuing. It looks like running in through Thursday morning, it will slowly inch out into the Atlantic. We are anticipating, though, maybe a little bit of drier air slipping in temporarily uh, tomorrow afternoon. But it uh, looks like the morning is going to be very wet with showers and storms into the early afternoon. And then after that, things may calm down a little bit. But some heavy weather now blowing up near Panama City, entering into Tallahassee right now, and then down into the Gulf of Mexico. This is not rainfall. These are the smoke plumes that are a result of the uh, brush fires that are taking place mainly right there. You can see that's the big one into Charlotte County. And that smoke plume with the southeasterly wind blowing it right on into our direction before the sea breeze took place and kind of moved everything inland now. You can see that sea breeze right there. Also, the controlled burn taking place uh, right there at Long Bar, uh, just near uh, Cortez Road. Sarasota, uh, sunny skies, but uh, not really. We had these high clouds around, and the ASOS system there, the computerized system, uh, not seeing the high clouds, but they're there, 73 degrees, and Braden at 74, and 71 now into Venice. Around the state, 76 in uh, Orlando, 76 as well in Key West, 73 now into Miami. Well, closer to home, temperatures are into the low to mid-70s right near the coast. The water temperature is still 71 degrees right now. And you can see the mid-70s in Arcadia, Wachula, and Mayaca City. There's also a fire there near Mayaca City, Northport at 76 degrees. Forecast winds will be out of the south and southeast through the overnight hours. And then you'll start to see that west wind in advance of the actual line of showers and storms, which will move in. We could see some... Very heavy rain at times, and then, as I mentioned, things may calm down a little bit into the mid-afternoon, and then we'll see residual showers after that. So we'll see a few uh, evening showers on into Wednesday and even into Thursday morning. Well, here's the futurecast forecast model. There's the area of low pressure. You can see the line of intense showers. This is at 8 o'clock depicted there, and there could be a difference of an hour as far as the timing of this line goes. It could be a little earlier, uh, and you can see the low spinning right there, and more moisture moving on shore. Here we go to 630. 
Still some showers around, but not nearly as the intensity as we'll see in the morning. And then the low eventually spins off there into the Atlantic, heading off uh, to the east of the state, allowing us to see decent weather conditions as we head into spring training as far as all the games are concerned. Uh, elsewhere across the U.S., quiet over the central U.S., the big story out west was the heavy rainfall. They're going to get a little break here temporarily, but there are more storms that potentially could move on in over the upcoming uh, week. As far as the forecast goes for us, uh, boaters beware. Southeast winds to southwest at 10 knots, but really the winds and seas will pick up near those individual cells uh, on Wednesday, that you read. High tide at 8.11 tonight. Low tide will be at 4.57, and sunset will be at 6.26. So the forecast tonight, mostly cloudy. Showers after midnight beginning to develop. Nothing in this evening, so you're okay as far as that goes. Tomorrow, morning showers and a few thunderstorms are possible. And it looks like uh, some heavy rain. We could see up to 1 to 2 inches of rainfall. Southeasterly winds 10 to 15. And the extended forecast is calling for uh, things to clear out of here a little bit on in through Thursday, but more so on into Friday. Well, it looks good for the weekend with high temperatures rebounding back into the mid to upper 70s. Scott? All right, Bob, thank you. At Suncoast Traffic Watch, no crashes in the area, but we are once again seeing slow going on I-75 heading north. This is from Bee Ridge Road to just past Fruitville Road in Sarasota County. Haley? Thank you, Scott. In health news tonight, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say this year's flu vaccine is offering moderate protection. It's been a pretty active flu season that could be reaching its peak. By far, the most common cause of influenza so far this year is influenza A strain known as H3N2. Seasons when this is the case are typically harsh because the virus is especially hard on older adults. This season, the CDC says getting a flu shot cut one's risk of contracting flu and needing to see a doctor by 48%. Parents' weight may strongly influence how much their children will weigh. Researchers at the University of Sussex found between 35 and 40% of how fat or thin children are stem from their parents' genes. For obese children, the influence was even more pronounced. The proportion of their weight due to their inherited genes was around 55 to 60 percent. Researchers observed that 20 percent of a child's body mass index was due to the mother, while the other 20 percent due to the father. Other factors, of course, account for the rest of that percentage. Doctors who feel burned out or overwhelmed by the demands of work are less likely to view their work as a calling that has meaning. That's according to a Mayo Clinic study. Among doctors with no burnout symptoms who enjoyed their work, 93% say they would choose their work life again, while less than a third of doctors in the most burned out category said the same thing. Burnout among doctors has been linked to lower patient satisfaction, more medical errors, and higher health care costs. Coming up, the dangers of getting a selfie in winter. A group of teens fall through fragile ice while trying to get that perfect picture. Plus, a police chase with an unusual, unusual suspect. How officers finally captured a bull on the loose. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. The agents at SWC would like to show you pictures of all the homes that they've sold quickly for their clients but they're just too many to show. Contact SWC today and find out for yourself. We just market your home better. I'm Alan Cohn. The economic impact of red tide as the algae lingers in Suncoast waters, fishermen are taking a hit. Find out what it means for you. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Cancer does change people's lives. It is frightening. The treatment for fear is hope. And what works for you is not necessarily going to work for somebody else. It does take a whole team. This is a, a facility that really cares about the outcome of the patients. So our job at, at Sarah Memorial Hospital is to meet the needs of that individual any way we need to meet them. Go ahead. Make a fashion statement. Demand something more than just ordinary. Capture elegance in every turn and drive with flair, where beautiful styling is standard. Stop in and take a test drive. I'll guarantee you'll never go back to plain vanilla again. The all-new 2017 Fiat 500, starting at $14,999. Only at Sunset Fiat in Sarasota. I won cash for life from the Florida Lottery! So I get $1,000 a day every 
every day for the rest of my life. Day one, bought a pony, we're best buds. Day seven, this is crazy! Another day, another grand, this one's on me. Then mom said, better save some. And another grand, share the love. I don't even play this thing, but I got a bunch. And another grand, and another grand, another grand, another grand. Let's do it again tomorrow. With a prize of $1,000 a day for life, the new Cash for Life draw game is your ticket to a grand day every day. Contemporary cabinetry and closet concepts. Our strength is in building a relationship with our clients. Locally owned and operated for over 30 years. When you organize your home, you simplify your life. Call today for a free in-home consultation or visit the web at contemporarycabinetrysrq.com. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Some teens trying to capture a perfect selfie quickly find themselves in a very dangerous situation. Police say seven teenagers were playing and sliding on a Central Park pond Monday evening when they decided to take some selfies. The ice suddenly cracked and gave way. The teens plunged into the frigid water. Firefighters say six of the seven teens had to be treated for hypothermia, but all are expected to be okay. A loose bull had police in New York City scrambling today. Parts of the chase caught on camera. You can see someone trying to use their car to slow the bull down, while another person trailed it on foot, but this bull was determined to keep going. It was eventually cornered in a backyard in Queens where officials managed to sedate him with darts, but this guy wasn't going down without a fight. He managed to break free once again from that backyard, sending people hot on his trail again. More than an hour later, the bull, exhausted at this point, was cornered and captured. A crew from an animal sanctuary headed to the scene to take over. There's no word on the bull's fate, but it was headed to a slaughterhouse when it escaped. Some models go to great lengths to achieve the perfect shot, but one Russian model is going to great heights. The 22-year-old model dangled from the edge of a 73-story tower in Dubai. No wires, no ropes or harnesses of any kind. Pictures and video of this death-defying stunt went viral, of course, but building officials are condemning the stunt, saying it was done without their permission. I think so. Guinness has a new world record holder for the most finger snaps in a minute. A Japanese student has broken the world record for finger snapping. He snapped his fingers 296 times in a minute to clinch this title. Despite his intense grimace, once the student got going, everything just clicked and Guinness was on hand to make the record official. They used some sound engineers to confirm the number apparently. That was 278 was the previous record. Well, bittersweet goodbye in the nation's capital. The National Zoo in Washington had to say its final goodbye to its panda cub, Bao Bao. She's now on the Panda Express, headed to China. As part of a long-standing agreement between the U.S. and China, all cubs born at the zoo have to move to China before turning four years old to breed with other pandas. Bao Bao made headlines when she was born, drawing thousands of visitors to the zoo on the day of her debut and millions since. A long flight to China. I'm told mm -hmm. they, they packed uh, bamboo, sweet potatoes, and apples. Oh, and a okay. lot of them. And I'm sure they were sad for that oh, departure. It's hard yeah. to say goodbye after Absolutely. four years. Still to come in your Suncoast News, a new strategy for patrolling Sarasota neighborhoods. What the police chief is changing to try and make communities safer. We'll have that story coming up. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like cell phone protection for three phones, plus an interest-bearing account. And that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva. Banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Car experts and customers agree. There's a whole lot to love about a new Subaru. Subaru offers more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And Subaru had the best resale value of all brands for 2016. Now you can lease a new Subaru Forester for just $209 a month or get 0% financing during the Subaru True Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this, 
contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Come out to the best party of the season, the Goodwill Mardi Gras Gala on February 28th at Michael's on Eat. Tickets at experiencegoodwill.org. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. As the only certified surgeon of excellence in metabolic and bariatric surgery in the area, Dr. Joseph Chepley has performed more than 1,300 successful bariatric surgeries. Join us on ABC7 News from 5 to 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, February 23rd. Dr. Joseph Chepley and his talented staff will be taking your phone calls as we discuss what makes someone a good candidate for surgery and the different options available to patients in our area. Thursday, February 23rd. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like full ID theft protection, and that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA.